we're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we're at the Bitdefender booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Oh, absolutely, Brian. Uh, Bitdefender is a global cybersecurity company with presence in over 150 countries worldwide, and we protect uh, 500 million uh, users worldwide through our uh, presence in the consumer space, enterprise space, and through our uh, OEM agreement. And so how do you fit into the VMware ecosystem? Bitdefender has been a VMware partner for more than six years now. We are part of the VMware Ready program where we certify two of our flagship solutions. Uh, Gravity Zone Security for Virtualized Environments is uh, our technology that integrates with the vSphere stack uh, and also we have an integration with NSX guest introspection. Uh, and recently this year, uh, we also announced uh, the VMware Ready availability for Gravity Zone Security for VMware Cloud on AWS. And uh, VMware Cloud on AWS uh, is secured by Bitdefender, really completing our uh, presence in the VMware stack across hybrid clouds. And so we've been asking some of our vendors here at VMworld, where do you think the future of cloud and virtualization and being able to secure that uh, is going in the future over the next couple of years? Brian, I believe that's uh, a twofold answer. Uh, there are certain uh, considerations when it comes to security nowadays uh, in terms of environment coverage, right? Security solutions need to adapt to uh, a virtual perimeter. And we need to adapt to the reality of uh, containers, adoption. Uh, I'm, I think we're going to see a lot of movement in, uh, in securing containers, both in uh, container as a service use cases, containers running within virtual machines, or even containers running on bare metal. All of those are equally important. And at the same time, uh, the industry is going to focus more and more on delivering the comprehensive management services for multi-cloud, hybrid cloud types of architectures where security needs are different, but there's also a need for unified uh, management and orchestration in those environments. So I think that's, uh, that's going to be the emphasis for at least the next year. Right. And would it be possible for us to take a look at the product? Oh, absolutely. Please step into my office. So what are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Gravity Zone, uh, which is our flagship uh, cloud workload protection platform solution. And we're going to speak specifically about the way Gravity Zone integrates with VMware Cloud on AWS. And we're really, we're really bridging that uh, on-premises to cloud uh, infrastructure uh, gap. Uh, the first uh, thing you're going to see when you log into the Gravity Zone console is the products dashboard where administrators can always get a quick insight into the events that uh, occurred in their environment recently and they can trigger a quick uh, investigation. But uh, the way Gravity Zone works with virtualization platforms, we use a uh, virtualization provider connector in this scenario with vCenter server. So in Gravity Zone, we're able to configure vCenter server integrations with both on-premises data centers and the cloud-based uh, vCenter server hosted in VMware Cloud on AWS. And once this connectivity is established, in the network inventory, administrators get the full operational insight into both on-premises uh, data centers and VMware Cloud on AWS. And from this point on, through the Gravity Zone automated workflows, we're able to centralize deployment operations. Uh, we're able to centralize configuration policies, and more importantly, those configuration policies can be configured to be applied on the entire VMware environment so customers can obtain security enforcement consistency across uh, the board. And that's really obtainable through a simple click of selecting the entire VMware infrastructure and selecting a configuration policy that customers want to apply on their protected virtual machines. So let's assume in this scenario, I want my entire environment to run with uh, the vSphere multi-platform policy. It's really as simple as point and click. And at this point in time, in the VMware infrastructure, uh, when we look at the protected virtual machine, the vSphere, uh, the VMware uh, multi-platform policy has been applied when we look at uh, the environment. So it's really very simple to configure. Now, 
from a deployment standpoint, Bitdefender has a centralized scanning technology that helps organizations be very efficient in the way they apply the security controls to their workloads. And what I'm saying by that is, when you're looking at deploying anti-malware technologies, anti-exploit technologies, machine learning based detection, the entire full stack of uh, technology that we bring to the market, it's really inefficient to deploy full agents, bloated agents on every virtual machine. And Bitdefender uh, is leveraging a security virtual appliance that's deployed on the network, and we leverage that security virtual appliance to communicate with an endpoint security tool that becomes like an offloading point, a thin agent that handles offloading over the network. And deploying those two components is really, again, a very simple operation. For example, when we look at deploying a security server, we select an ESXi host, and we trigger an install security server task, which is a wizard-driven configuration. It's like creating a new virtual machine in your VMware environment. Simply selecting a container in which you want to place this new virtual machine, the data store on which you want to host it, the type of uh, provisioning for the storage, consolidation in terms of uh, hardware resources that you want to assign to the VM, minimal configurations on, uh, for example, administrative password, that you want to uh, use to protect this uh, virtual appliance, and then selecting uh, the VLAN in which you want to deploy the virtual appliance. And after these configurations are done, uh, Gravity Zone communicates with vCenter server via API, and we automatically create that virtual machine in the policy. Uh, the endpoint security tools configuration is extremely similar. It's again a point and shoot operation where you simply need to select a, a virtual machine, and trigger an install client task. And based on uh, this uh, operation, you just need to provide administrative uh, credentials for the target system. In this case, I'm looking at a Linux box, so I'm going to provide root credentials or uh, an account that has pseudo privileges on the target uh, box. And then I select uh, an installer package. And that's uh, the entire operation. From an auditing perspective, we centralize the event reporting. Administrators at any point in time can generate reports based on a network inventory selection to get the right security events aggregated in a report based on their uh, selection. So in this scenario, let's say I want to create a report on uh, a particular data center. I simply select the object and I uh, say generate the report. And I have a series of uh, predefined reports that I can use, or I can define my own reports, depending on the existing needs. And I can get a quick status on, for example, uh, the endpoint security module that I have deployed on the virtual machines in that particular environment. And I can see a list of systems that, for example, have anti-malware enabled, or I can see a list of systems that are currently running a control, uh, content control module. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, show VM blog about your product. Where can they go if they want to find out more information about uh, Bitdefender? Oh, bitdefender.com slash SDDC is the landing page for everything data center. So you guys can navigate to that web page and I hope you're going to find a lot of useful information. Thanks. Thank you very much, Brian and VM blog team.